Hello all, welcome to this training program on e-learning by SNDT Women's University, Mumbai, Dr. Ambedkar Chair in collaboration with PVDT College of Education for Women, Mumbai. So let us get started. I am Shikha Minani, Assistant Professor, PGDAV College, University of Delhi. Hello everyone, welcome to this another session where we will learn how to record a very interesting and interactive video for our students. So let us start with a software whose name is Movely. For that, just type on your browser Movely. Now this is what would open Movely.com. Click on this and if you are using it for the first time, then you need to sign up. So let us open it and see how it looks. Alright, so here in case of Movely, we have various options. You can see how to create, right, the business videos, education videos and personal videos. They also give you the option regarding their pricing. Because there are certain features in Movely which are free for educators and teachers like us and the others are pro and which have to be purchased. Then for this, we need to sign up and we'll go to get started. Now when I go to get started, it asked me to, it asked me for the account, whether mine is business, education or personal. It's better that we click on education because for the educators, it has various options that it provides us. So I'll click on this teachers and explain a lesson topic because that is what I want to do with my students. Now it says easily create educational videos because I have registered as a teacher. And you can see these are the things that you can do. Engage your class with video assignments from free individual plans to group plans for classes articles so you can read all this now and you can start creating by going to sign up but as i already have my account here so i need not sign and i simply go to the dashboard this is my account where i have already registered and you can see that these are few projects that i have made using movely Alright, so your all the projects are automatically saved on the Movely desktop. Now let us get started. For that, you have to click on this create project. So as soon as I click on create project, it asks me for two options. Whether you want to start from scratch or you want to use an existing template from Movely. I want to decide from myself as to how my video should look. So, I'll, so I will start from the scratch. So I will click on new project. And this is how the Movely screen appears. The screen is quite similar to the one that we had in OBS because both are basically for making the videos. Now here I will click on no thanks and it asks me you can restart the walkthrough. So they can also provide you a tutorial but as I am already teaching you how to make a video. So I'll simply skip this, but if at any point of time you feel like taking some help, then you can always click on this help button. All right. So let us first understand this Movely page. Here, the first thing is on this left side, we have this library. In this library, now the benefit is that you already have certain clips, images, audios and videos which are free and which we can you can use easily on your Movely account. So this is the first thing which everybody would be frequently using whenever they are making their video and this is known as the library. Now this white thing that we have in the middle is basically our stage or our canvas. So this is our canvas where we would be visualizing and making our video. So here on my screen, everything that I would be doing and what I want to project to my students would be appearing here. Then here in the bottom, this is the timeline. 
all right so this is the timeline where i can make the adjustments as to what what thing should appear first and what thing should appear later i can also add the animations to that so this is very important which is the timeline on this right side we have the stage properties right so you can resize the shapes that you put in here in your screen you can change the color of your screen you can change the color of the text that you have written so all that would be done from the properties so on the whole we have four things the library we have our screen or stage we have on the bottom our timeline and on our right we have the properties now the first thing that we need to do whenever we are starting our project is we need to give it a name so let us just click on this top you have this pen or pencil we need to click on this and we will give it a name so we will write fdp 3 right because this is our fdp 3 so we have given a name to it now let us get started and for that we'll go to the library in the library you have various options see these are the various options the first option is your library so this is my personal library i can save various images here which later on i can use for my videos we'll learn in our next video how we can upload the images text and the audios here first let us see what are the free things that are available to us so wherever you are seeing this pro these pro you won't be able to use until and unless you have paid or you have subscribed to movie so what i would be using is i would be using the other free options and for the teachers we have various options okay so what we'll do now is we'll first of all go to clips so let us go let us get started and let me first show you the motion graphics in the motion graphics we have certain motion graphics which means that whenever i insert it in my screen they would be moving all right so i can take anything so whatever you want to select you simply select that and its preview would be visible to you here in the properties so whatever you select here its preview would be available to you here so you can see how it looks right so the, this is how it will appear see this is how it will appear now whatever you want to enter you simply have to just click on that and you drag it on your screen click on okay right so this is how it will appear i can also resize it so let me reduce the size and i will put it here all right so you can increase or decrease the size of the motion graphic you can insert various graphics let me put it here all right and let me drag something else here so i have two things here and both of them would be appearing in my account now i want to insert a text also so for that on this above ribbon you can see add text just click on this add text and wherever i click you can type your text so let us type let us all pray for mother earth right so you can type anything over here and you can select it and from the properties thing you can change it to bold you can also change the text color suppose i want to have some other color so you can also have that you can change the font size all right so we can change the font size and we can also change the background color see here we have this background color right now it is white if i want to change it i can go and i can click on any color and then click on this big window which has come so as soon as i click here it has changed but i want to change it for my whole thing so let me click on the screen because the text was selected so i click here and i go to stage properties and i go to background color 
all right so in the state properties in the background color i can select this i will click here and the whole background has changed let us go back to our text so as soon as i click on text you can see that in the properties the text properties has opened so there are three things now the stage properties which is the whole stage my whole screen the next is the template properties and the third is the text properties all right in the text properties i can change the font let us increase it to 30 and i can change the color and the background color of the text let me change it to this all right so this is how it will appear now come to this timeline in this timeline you will see that i have added three things what are the three things i have added first is i have added a text which is written in this yellow ribbon second is the fire banner the fire which is here and the third is the earth rotation so these are the three things that i have introduced now all these three things are starting from the beginning which means that all of them would start at the same time but you can change it also it is up to you you will decide what thing would should appear first what thing should appear second and what thing should appear later on so i want that in the beginning i only want to have the rotating earth so i'll keep it here and then i'll click on this fire banner and i will simply drag it i will drag it so that this fire comes a little later because i want to show that earlier there was the earth and then it started burning because of the action of the human being and third i want to have this text later on so you can drag it and you can also increase or decrease the size suppose i want to reduce the time for which the earth is rotating so i can simply decrease or increase it or if i want that throughout the video the earth should keep on rotating and the fire should also be there so all of them would end at the same time and the last thing in this video is how to add the animation so these are the three things wherever you want to add the animation you click on that so i have clicked on this earth rotation and click on add animation now in add animation there are various things how you whether you want a hand to just bring this earth you want to move and transform exit and enter so let us go to enter and let us go to bounce in so now what will happen you will see these two dots which have come here so this is the duration of the animation what will be there so during this time the earth would be bouncing in if you want to increase the animation you can do that you can increase the size all right similarly you can also have it in the fire so i have clicked on this fire banner alpha so wherever you want to have the animation the first thing is that you have to first click on that okay so just remember this and then you go to add animation let us see i want to go to move and transform and i want to zoom in so this is the animation let us go to the last animation which is the text again add animation and i want a hand to just place it here so it is the hand which will drag in all right and i can increase the size so this is my video which i have made with movely this is a very initial video let us see how it would appear so i'm just starting it all right so this is how the uh, the video is made using movely you can see how the earth came in and how the fire zoomed in and zoomed out and how the text came in later so you can decide how you want your video to appear i hope you all like this and we'll meet in the next video thank you so much